Let's take a look at how to modify this common MXL 990 condenser microphone. My name's Eric Strebel. I'm an industrial designer. Welcome to my channel about product design. I hope that you like, enjoy, and become a subscriber. I'm always trying to improve the quality of the videos on YouTube, so I thought uh, modifying the microphone that I use to record uh, would be a good thing. Uh, cost less than eight dollars. I ordered my kit from SilentSky.net. Comes with a little um, piece of paper that gives you a link to download a PDF. It's a pretty comprehensive PDF and has all the information that you need to perform the mod. The modification is pretty straightforward. It's so easy that my camera gal Chris was able to do the mod, no problem. Let's see how she does. So to disassemble the microphone, you remove the screw ring on the bottom and then the main body comes apart like that. Next we're going to take out the two screws that hold in the head basket. Now Chris doesn't have a lot of experience, um, but she's still pretty handy and is able to do this mod no problem. Next we want to remove the little spacers so that we can slide the PCB out. We're going to mark on the PCB where the wires come down from the condenser and that's so we can have better access to the board. We're going to start removing the components on the back side. This is C13. This is the replacement part. We pre-tin or uh, pre-solder the leads so we can solder it into place. Next, we're going to remove the two capacitors on the other side, C3 and C4. I'm using a pair of tweezers to help me remove it. It definitely helps if you have somebody to help with this. We're going to slide in the uh, replacement capacitor from the other side into the holes. Chris heats up the board uh, at the spot where the capacitors get inserted and I'm able to push them through. I trim off the excess and we're going to reattach the red and black wires back onto the main circuit board. Next, we're going to remove the two inner layers of mesh on the head basket. We're going to use a screwdriver to lift up the uh, screen that's in there and we're going to insert a pair of pliers and rip the existing mesh away from the inside of the basket. We do that by sticking in a pair of pliers and then twisting and rolling up the mesh that's in there so that we can pull it out. Let's watch how Chris does this. You'll need to repeat the same process for the second finer mesh layer that's inside the head basket, but it's pretty straightforward. When you're finished, you'll be left with a relatively transparent head basket. Uh, I would definitely suggest using a pop filter at this point. I complete the mod on my 990 by painting it a gloss black with a red ring. I really needed to fix that because the champagne color on the stock 990 is terrible. So let's reassemble the entire microphone in the reverse order. We're going to insert the spacer um, between the main body and the printed circuit board and we're going to slip the head basket over. We're going to do the back side first. Screw the screws back into place. We'll do one side at a time. Then it's just a matter of reassembling the body in the reverse order, re-threading everything back together. Once it's all finished, you should be able to easily see that condenser. I was able to lower the gain a little bit on my microphone for a little bit nicer recording, and I think the sound sounds a little bit fatter and wider. And this is the sound of an unmodified 990. This is the sound of a modified 990. I certainly can tell the difference, and I like the modified version a lot better. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the subscribe button and help me out. Look for more content real soon. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can click on the little icon on the bottom right of the screen to do that. You can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. Rock on. Click here to watch some of the other design and making videos that I have. 
you'd like to have your music featured in one of my videos, drop me a line. Thank you.